Now you notice as I switch here to the next frame, we lose our layer style right there. It's actually keeping track of these things on a frame by frame basis. So we need to adjust that. So I'm going to go back here to our first frame. I'm staying here on this layer, which is the layer that has our frame on it, and we need to move that layer style across all of those frames inside of our animation. And go up here, this is a little, little lock button right there and a little F thing which stands for FX. That's Unify Layer Style. Click on that one and we can match the layer style in other frames and states to match the current layer. Choose Match and you can see now that it copied that layer style across all the other frames. So now we have a consistent layer style as well as we go through. You'll notice though that the layer that I dragged in from the previous document, the bubbles layer, retained its layer style clear across all frames as we drag that in. So if you have a situation where you're seeing the layer style disappear, simply go up here and click on this button to unify that style across all of your different frames. Now something else you can do with this kind of frame by frame animation is to come in and actually do frame by frame animation with it. You can take something and actually move it across each one of the frames. Let's just go here to the bubbles. I'll put bubbles right up there. And you can see how that has now been moved across all of our frames in here. Let's uncheck Propagate Frame 1. Come to Frame 2. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit and you'll see now that Frame 1 has it up there. Frame 2 it's down just a little bit. And I can actually pull this down a little bit at a time and create a frame by frame animation by repositioning the object on each individual frame. Let's pull it clear down to the bottom like that. There we go. Now if I go back to the beginning and if I go through at a frame at a time, you'll see how that moves down like that based upon that motion that I was creating by dragging it through frame by frame. So you can do a basic animation this way by actually moving something down or moving something around, changing the size, whatever else you want to do frame by frame. We can go back, we can unify layer visibility, we can unify layer position, and we can unify layer style if we need to match things. I just did the unify layer position and notice now how all the layers have that in the exact same location. There we go, we're back to that bottom right hand position. So that's one use then for a little frame by frame animation style. I've brought up our banner ad here, our web page banner ad, and let's just do a simple animation on this one, and we're going to be using this tween option right down there, which we didn't look at yet. I'm going to put in a second frame here. There we go. Just click on our new frame button. So you now I have two animation frames. They're set right now to, to sit for 10 seconds. Let's just bring this down to sit for one second. Make it a little easier to animate. We can always change this speed anytime you want and you can change this speed. You can have different speeds for different layers if you want or different frames if you want to. I'm going to change the settings here. On this first frame, let's come in and let's set magazine's opacity to zero. There we go. And let's set the wind and sail copy here layer to zero. So we just di made those disappear. Let's come down to our second frame here. I don't want to propagate frame one. Let's uncheck that propagate frame one. Let's set wind and sail copy here up to 100. So our first frame has nothing. Next frame has 100% on that. Now we can make a, a fade up on that by putting in additional frames between these two videos. So let's just come over here. We're going to tween. Hold down my shift key. Click on the tween. And I'm going to tween between these, between our selections here. And we'll, we'll add five frames. 
all layers doesn't matter and then choose OK and there's the additional frames added in between our first and our last frame so the first frame had no transparency and then Photoshop just added in these five frames in between these two frames first frame nothing last frame full transparency and then Photoshop figured out an amount a transparency amount to bring that up to a full position just like this so just fade it up wind and sail a little bit of an animation let's now bring up the magazine text as well let's make a new frame right here on this frame I'm going to set magazine I don't want to propagate that let's just uncheck that let's set the opacity up here to 100 so previous frame nothing this frame 100 let's again select both of these two frames and let's tween this five frames okay and same thing there's that frame and as we move forward Photoshop has adjusted the opacity on each of these frames to bring that up now we can hold this final frame position for a few seconds let's just set this here to hold for five seconds and let's set this to repeat three times let's now see our animation let's go back to the first frame and click on the play button and again it holds for one second between frames so we can check our animation to make a smooth animation you'd want to cut down that hold time so that it was very very smooth it holds for five seconds and then it's going to repeat again and there's the repeat so we've gone through now we've made a little animation by using the frame by frame style and using this tweening function let's go back to our our first frame here let's adjust the delay here now let's just do a very short delay 0.1 second for all of these as we're bringing that image up frame 7 is where we had this at full 100% visibility so in frame 7 let's hold this for 5 seconds and then as we bring in the magazine I'll set that down to a much faster rate here there we go and then a the 5 second hold okay let's go ahead and go back to our first frame and click on play there's the fade up, there's the hold. Then it's going to fade up the magazine. There's a fade up on the magazine, and then there's the hold at the end. So with the frame by frame, we actually can come in here and time these things. This is something which you can't easily do on the other form of animation, on the timeline animation. So this is a great use for the frame by frame for this kind of little pop-up ad where you're just kind of bringing things in. let's just do one more thing I'll stop it right there sitting on our last frame let's put a new frame in at that point it just copies that frame so on this frame let's just change everything here I'm going to hide this layer let's hide this layer let's put a new layer above here let's shift our colors here and grab our text tool make a new text layer in here and let's make sure we have a good typeface Arial black looks pretty good and let's just see I guess we'll leave it at let's do 24 point that works so we've added an, another little layer here afterwards now this we had propagate frame is sitting up there so that's gone ahead and actually copy that on our other frames easy to fix let's just go back a frame and I'll just hide that layer just like this and just stepping back almost done here back to our first frame so we now have that out of the way there we go so we now have by now on the last frame which is down here and we can hold that for five seconds as well and whatever you want to have so by doing it this way you actually can have you know several different frames in there with different things on each frame you can use this technique the tween technique to fade between your frames 
or you can just do a cut between your two frames just like that. Let's go ahead now and play this animation through. There we go, fade up our first title, holds for five seconds. It's then going to fade up magazine. It'll hold for five seconds there. It'll then just switch to the next frame, just like that. Hold for five seconds, and then we'll go back and repeat the whole thing. So there you go, straightforward animation, pretty easy to do, just using the frame by frame animation tools and using that little tweening effect. And again, as I mentioned in the last video, whichever frame or animation technique you want to use, either frames or timeline, depends partly on what you want to do and partly on how you want to approach it. In this case, I think for this kind of an animation, I want to be able to have the ability to easily adjust spacing or timing between frames. This is an easy way to do it. The frame by frame is a great option. And little videos like this one are real short anyway. They don't take up very much time, so there aren't a whole lot of frames to be concerned with, only 14 frames in this particular animation. And it played through three times, which is what our setting was right down there. So there we go, a little animation for our banner page. Let's just save this one. I'm going to do a save as, and I'll call this one animated. Now the next thing we need to do, of course, will be to save these things. We'll do those in just a couple of videos. But first, let's move on to the next video and do a little more editing on videos in the next demonstration.